Texas Governor Rick Perry exercised his First Amendment right today, hosting a business luncheon in Maryland. That's right. Now, his sales pitch there, move your company from Maryland to the Lone Star State and prosper. Montgomery County reporter Kevin Lewis is live in Bethesda with more on Perry's visit to Maryland today. Audrey and Leon. More than 50 executives from the D.C. metro area broke bread with Governor Perry inside the Morton Steakhouse here at the Hyatt Regency in Bethesda. Following lunch, leaders of the Maryland Republican Party also managed to snag a sit-down meeting with the man trying to poach jobs from the free states. When you grow tired of Maryland taxes... A radio smear campaign valued at 500 grand started an interstate battle for business. I mean, we pray for rain in Texas. They tax it in Maryland. Governor Perry's ace in the pocket, lower taxes in Texas. At a point in time, overtaxation, overregulation, over litigation is going to catch up with you. A recent study by the Tax Foundation, a group aimed at creating a simpler tax code, found Texas to be the ninth lowest state for taxation. Maryland sat at 41st. Governor Perry is not here hijacking businesses. He's here to at least give them the opportunity to choose Texas because the problem is they're already leaving. We, we can't say that we exactly wish him well in his ventures, but we also thank him for shining a very, very bright light with the, the commercials that he's done in his visit here. But entrepreneur Zach Klein says he'd never relocate his landscaping business. Not at all. No, that's why I'm here right now. I'm not over there, you know, listening to him. I'd rather be here in the state of Maryland growing my business where I have my roots and, you know, see it come to fruition. In today's Washington Post, Governor Martin O'Malley fired back at Perry saying, quote, in Texas, he has implemented this vision with gusto, cutting taxes and slashing funding. The results, Texas ranks 49th in high school graduation, 10th in the rate of poverty and 50th in the percent of residents with even basic health insurance. And this debate only heating up tonight at 6.30. Both governors will go head-to-head -head during a debate on CNN's Crossfire. And then tomorrow, Perry will host more of these luncheons and meetings with businesses across the area before heading home to Texas bright and early Friday. From the Montgomery County Mobile Newsroom in Bethesda tonight, I'm Kevin Lewis, ABC 7 News.